Welcome back to another week of Whip It Wednesdays. Um, I do apologize for last week not getting it out there. Uh, my allergies were acting up and I just was not feeling too great last week. So I took a break, chilled out, but happy to be back doing it for you guys this week. Um, I love my Whip It Wednesdays. I love seeing what you all are working on. So let's get started. Jody is working on this beautiful bird filled painting. I don't even know how many birds there is in this one, but there is a lot. Um, this is 120 by 80 centimeters, so it is huge uh, from AliExpress, and it costs her $64.51. Uh, this is only her 11th day of working on it. Um, or she's worked on it for 11 days. She's had it out for 13. She had to take a little break to make some Easter baskets for some customers, which is awesome. Um, I kind of like to see those Easter baskets, Jody. And she says, um, glue is great, clear pictures so far. She's having a great time working on this beautiful, beautiful canvas. And she cannot wait to have it done so she can hang it up in her kitchen. Um, I concur. I think this would be a beautiful piece to put up in your kitchen. I really want to know how many actual birds are in this. I might have to count later, but thank you, Jody, for sending this one in. Kay is working on this one. It is a Diamond Art Club, from, and the title is Magical Mama. Um, it is a 42 by 42 centimeters, and it has 34 colors, including one AB and one specialty diamond. Um, the price is $29.99. I want to know what the specialty diamond is. I don't see it in this picture, so I would be, yeah, I'm really kind of excited to see what it is and where is it. Um, she is working on this for uh, her granddaughter's ninth birthday, but she can only work it on it on the weekends and about two hours a night because she has her granddaughter with her um, while she's off school because both of her parents are still working. So whatever your uh, her parents are doing right now, thank them because anybody who's out working there right now is definitely working harder. Um, and so thank them definitely for all of us and I hope that you finish this I don't have any doubt in my mind that you will because you've already got a lot done on this Bianca is working on this one the title is frozen it is a diamond art club um, it does have ABs and the size is a 51 by 76 centimeters cost 49.95 um, she says she is really enjoying working on this and of course who wouldn't this is an absolutely beautiful beautiful piece um, I really really like it this is what it's gonna look like when it's all done uh, she obviously has the first part or the first half pretty good pretty good amount done and it's looking really good so far Bianca so keep us posted Ness is working on this one uh, it is a 35 by 45 centimeters and she bought it off of wish so she cannot remember the price uh, this is what it's gonna look like when it is all done um, I'm excited to see it because I can't see this picture, I mean, this picture isn't super clear, so I'm excited to see the actual painting when it's done. So keep us posted, Ness. Lacey sent this one in. Um, the project name is No Need for Words, and it is a 42 by 63, so a good size. She got it for the purchase price of $14.99, guys. That is a wonderful price for that size for a Diamond Art Club. Um, this was on sale, and unfortunately, it is no longer available. Um, this one does have 27 colors with 1A, B. Um, and I think 
that's all the information about it, but it threw me off. So it, <laughs> and I thought it was really funny. I was trying to figure out what that was. And it is raspberries. And then in her comment, she said, sorry, forgot to move my raspberries. <laughs> I'm glad you forgot to remove them because it gave me a little bit of a giggle. So uh, thank you, Lacey, for sending this in. I am excited to see this um, as it progresses. This is the actual picture that she's working on. Um, it is a beautiful picture. So thanks, Lacey. And of course, keep us updated like you always do. Minette is working on this one. It, it She named it Majestic, which I think is a perfect name for this beautiful, beautiful white horse. Um, it is a AliExpress painting. She paid $24.35 for it, and it is a 60 by 60. Um, it is a full round, and there are 47,646 drills on this piece. And out of those, there are 34,681 three tens, you guys. She is living the three ten life for real. That is crazy. That is more than half of the drills are three tens. Whew, you got dedication. I'll say that. This is for her. Um, her boyfriend's mom. Well, I hope she really appreciates and loves this picture, which I'm sure she will, because, yeah, living the 310 life like that, ooh, girl. Um, but I think it's going to turn out absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see the rest of the picture. Elizabeth is working on this gorgeous, gorgeous piece, you guys. Um, this is from the Hankins Painting Store. It is a 45 by 60. Um, it is a custom, and it is poured glue canvas. Uh, it is a square piece, and, or a square drill. I'm sure most of you know what that meant. And it cost $29.43. There are 27 colors. And she says, welcome to the 310 life. Another one. Yes. Um, and also, if you'd like to learn more possibly about this piece and just more about Elizabeth, she is on YouTube. And her YouTube name is Lizzie's World of Gems. So check her out. Um... She says, it's taking me a long time because this isn't the only project I'm working on. Hmm, wonder what else she's got up her sleeve that she's working on. Uh, the one thing that I love, like, this is what this piece is actually going to look like when it's all done. And the one thing I love about it, like I said last week, is the eye with the sunflower. It is so unique with that eye. Like, I just absolutely love, love, love it. I love the eyelashes. I, everything about this is just beautiful. I would love to actually work on this. Um, but yeah, definitely would have to deal with the three tens. Paula is working on this one. Um, this is another Diamond Art Club. The name of it is Angelic. Um, by Nikki Burnett. It is a 56 by 71 centimeters, 38 colors with two ABs. Uh, she will be working on this one for her partner's granddaughter for Christmas. She says the drills have had a lot of trash in them though, but otherwise um, it's been really great to work on. And she says she's in love with the cute little blue dragon, which I uh, completely agree. That is absolutely adorable. It's just like, it's kind of just like a little piece of it, but it makes the painting, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyways, um, from what I've heard, there has been kind of a uh, time period where the drills have had a lot of trash, a lot of knobbly bits and stuff in them. They are working on that. The one I just did from them is the square piece and it was absolutely perfect. I had no knobbly bits. I had hardly any trash. It was it was beautiful. So um, but going back to this, this is what it's going to look like when it is all done. She says she's almost done with it, obviously, as you can see. But she cross-stitches and works from home during the week and diamond paints on the weekend. So maybe this weekend she will be able to get this one all done. Nicole is working on this one, you guys. The title is Beauty and the Beast. Um, I actually don't have a picture of what it's going to look like. Um, hopefully next week I will. But this is a 50 by 70. It has 33 colors. It's from Home Craftology. And the price starts at $24.99. But larger the size, higher the price, obviously. So this cost her $59.99 because she got the bigger piece. Um, it is a round. But on the site, you can choose square or round. So... 
which is nice. She said it only took two weeks to get to her, guys, but that is pre-virus. So before the virus hit, it only took two weeks. Now, I can't tell you how long. Um, obviously, as you can see, this bottom piece that she's done is all white. You guys, she is cray-cray. No, I'm just kidding, Nicole. You know I love you. Uh, this piece is all, like, the majority of it is white. Like, she's just going to be living in white for quite some time. Um, yeah, but I'm really excited to, when she gets to the actual picture part of it. She showed me what the picture was, but honestly, I cannot remember. Anyways, um, Nicole, keep working at this and uh, keep us updated with your progress and try not to go insane from all of the white. Ariel is still plugging away at this beautiful wolf. She is now about halfway done with it. Um, I'm very proud of her for sticking with this one because there has been a lot of issues. Uh, she's had crater drills with drills with blotches and oily drills and all that stuff. It's, it's just, yeah, that just makes it not nearly as enjoyable to sit down and diamond paint when you're trying to de-stress um, and those things can cause stress. So, uh, but this picture, look at this picture, you guys. This is what it's going to look like. Is absolutely beautiful, which I know is what's driving her to finish this. This is a 50 by 75 centimeters. It is um, a square full diamond painting. It has 59,700 drills in it. She got it from the Cami Y store on AliExpress, and it cost her $18.64. Obviously, she would not recommend this store probably to anybody with all the issues she's had with these drills. However, this image is absolutely breathtaking, and so I am glad that you are sticking with it, Ariel, and you are going to finish it because I love, love this image. Bethany is working on this gorgeous one from Diamond Art Club. Um, the artist is Mandy Manzato, and it is, um, the title is Make a Wish and Take a Bite. It is a 42 by 106 centimeters, so long painting. Um, not as long as some of their other princess ones, um, that series that they, they kind of had, it was 42 by 125 centimeters. This one's only 106 centimeters, but still. That's a healthy size diamond painting. Um, this is a square. It's got 48 colors and it has one AB in it. Um, and it costs her only $41.18 in total. And she's loving it, she says. And I'm going to quote her on this. I'm going to read exactly what she wrote. There are loads of, three of trash in the three tens and I wish I'd worked from top to bottom rather than the other way around because the top half has loads of color blocking. When compared to the bottom half, the color blocking bores me to tears. I just want my confetti back. Yep. That's what I just said, y'all. She wants her confetti back. See, and I'm the opposite. I like my color blocking um, because it, I, it doesn't bore me. Now, I don't like when there's huge color blocking. I like when it's it's just like a healthy mixture. Um, a good amount of color blocking, but where there's lots of different colors doing that. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, she obviously likes her confetti because it just keeps her more interested when she's changing colors all the time. So some people like confetti, some people like color blocking, some people like both. Whatever you like, as long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. Bethany, I'm excited to see this one all finished because this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful painting. Okay, so Susan is working on this one. It is a 55 by 55 square from Home Fun. So far, she has no issues. This one costs $26.50, and it has 43 vibrant colors. Um, that is a quote from her, which, yeah, this one's got to have some cute colors, but oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This is what this painting is going to look like. Does this not just melt your heart. Oh, it melts my heart. Like, I just love this canvas so much. Um, she does say she has had no issues with the drills, but she also says 
She's always been a big fan of Home Fun Squares and has never had an issue in the past. So, which is great. I, I'm very glad. Um, I really like Home Fun Squares as well. I have never had an issue. I know some people do, but I have never had an issue with their squares. I have had an issue with the rounds um, because I do not like how the... Um, the dummy circle is bigger than the drill itself, but the squares, I like them. But yes, this picture is so cute, and I honestly cannot wait for you to do more of this because I'm so excited. It is adorable. Like, if you look at this picture and it doesn't just make you go, oh, something is wrong with you. <laughs> like, seriously. Uh, but yeah, so thank you, Susan, for sending this in and get to working on this one because I really, really, really want to see this. Lisa is working on this one. It is a 70 by 50 centimeters round drills um, from Row Diamonds. It has five ABs and cost 33 euros. Um, five ABs, guys. I don't think I've ever done a painting with five ABs. That is a lot of ABs. I don't even know what the picture looks like um, because it's only that bottom section that you see. She did not send me a picture of what it looks like. So hopefully she'll keep us updated because now I'm really curious, especially with a picture with five ABs. I want to see it. Also, I love, love your acrylic pen. Oh, it is so, so beautiful. Okay, Randy is working on this one. Um, it is a 30 by 50. It is all crystal drills, guys. This is from Crystal Canvas Art. I absolutely love them. I highly, highly recommend them. Um, if you like doing crystal, uh, the crystal drills, they have beautiful, beautiful work. Anyways, this is a full round with 29 different colors and only cost $23. This is what it, the picture is gonna look like when it's all done, but oh my gosh, I just love this picture. I really, really do. Look at how sparkly those drills are on that top section that she has done. Like. They are just absolutely gorgeous. This, this whole piece is going to be beautiful. Um, I'm really, really excited for this one, Randy. So please, please, please keep us posted. I mean, you usually do. Um, but this one I am especially excited for. Okay, so here is my whip. I did finish Galaxy. I will be getting a review out soon on what I thought about that one. Um, but this one is... Geisha. Um, when I got this one, I literally could not wait to start it. I was just, I don't know, something about it really, really got me excited. Um, so I've only worked on it for two times, two times, so for two days. Um, a little one day and a little of the next. However, um, I've got quite, quite a bit done on it because, um, it's black, guys. I mean, I'm living the 310 life right now. Look at all this black. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a lot of black. Lots and lots of black. So what I thought is, I've never done a painting like this before, but I might do it this time. Um, I'm going to do as much of the black as I can first and then go back and fill in all the color. Um, also, there's a lot of this tan color for her skin. Um, I did pull off the plasticky piece over here to put the white pieces down before I decided to do the painting this way. So I'm going to have to figure it out. Um, but I do have that whole, like, you know, from right here all the way to here, completely done with black. Um, obviously the flower has not been filled in. Um, and then I have this black section over here. I'm still to fill in the checkerboard pieces. I'm using a, um... A seven placer right now on the checkerboard but on some of it I used an 11 a 15 a 9 like I've just been kind of changing it out um, obviously when I got over to the flowers when I started using the seven because uh, obviously you know there just wasn't as many big pieces of black in a row at one time so but I'm really enjoying it so far this is a round painting if you uh, couldn't already tell 
Um, I've had no trash really in my realms, which black, if you're going to get trash, is usually going to be in the black just because they are so mass produced. Like there's so many that, that are produced so quickly that if you have trash, it's usually in the darker colors. But honestly, guys, there's like hardly any, I mean, I have only pulled out one drill that I couldn't use. Um, so yeah, they're, they're doing good on that. I do love how they're now putting it down here versus up in the corner up here um because and i also like how they're putting the artist's name on the canvas too um just gives them a little you know little extra credit there so anyways um yeah that's what i'm working on guys i am filling orders too i will be going to the post office tomorrow i have limited down my post office runs due to the fact that we are supposed to be in a stay-at-home band thing right now so um, yeah, but I, my store is still up and opened. I do have stuff that I still need to get linked on there. Um, it's just been kind of a crazy, crazy week. So, um, bear with me. I had, yeah, I had a major migraine this week with a headache. Then I just didn't get on the computer because the computer kind of makes it worse. So, um, but that's all I have for you guys today. But what I'm going to do to end this one, because I didn't get the Whip It Wednesdays out last week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those pictures that were um, submitted to me and I'm just going to do a slideshow with them. I'm not going to stop and talk about each one. I'm just going to slide, you know, show you each picture, each picture so that you can see which ones were submitted to me because I just kind of hate for those to go to waste since they were, you know, submitted and they took the time to do that so um i want to share that but um after that that will be it so thank you guys so much for tuning in to another whip it wednesday i hope you guys are having a great day um and i hope you guys are hard at work on your paintings since there's not much else to do right now can't really go anywhere so um but with that being said don't forget as always you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem smarter than you think and you are definitely loved more than you know. So with that being said, I will see you next time. Keep shining. Bye, guys. Watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.